Good morning, my alumni friends and colleagues from Angeles University Foundation. I welcome everyone to our last webinar for 2021 entitled Financial Literacy Game Canaba. This is indeed a welcome treat for us, especially for those who struggle with our finances. We also welcome our speaker, Mr. Melford G. Kunanan, a proud alumnus from the College of Arts and Sciences. We give distinction to the AAPS team and the Alumni Federation and their PET Alumni Professional Growth and Development webinar series. Kudos also to the other units who partnered with them to make this event possible. My basic lesson on financial literacy is always income minus savings equals expenses. So this principle requires you to develop the discipline to save before spending. So when you set aside money from the get-go, sabi nga, magic happens. You learn to work with the money you have while the rest is safely stored in your savings. So it's not income minus expenses equals savings. This is actually a no-no. So in other words, make a budget. Manage your finances. As a civil engineer and a construction manager to boot, I am always reminded of the verse regarding the proper management of finances. In Luke 12, 28, 30, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? For if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule you saying, this person began to build and wasn't able to finish so, proper management of money, which others would say money is the root of all evil. But the Bible tells us that money is not explicitly evil. It is actually the love of money that is the root of all evil. Because money is an economic unit that functions as a generally recognized medium of exchange for transactional purposes in an economy from Google. Ang hirap po yata na bibili ka ng isang kilo ng manok at ipambabayad mo ay dalawang sako ng kamote. Bibili ka ng cellphone at magbabayad ka ng isang buhay na baboy na may kasamang dalawang kambing at labing dalawang kalabasa. Napakahirap. Kaya po pinahintulot ng Diyos na gamitin natin yung pera to be our common denominator in conducting business transactions. So this morning, we will listen to the proper management of money through financial literacy because to whom much is given, much will be required. As Uncle Ben of Spider-Man's fame would say, with great power comes great responsibility. On a personal note, I manage my finances using the Peddler's app. I keep track of my expenses, cash ledger, credits, payments, orders, bills, and others using these apps. Nakaka-relate ako kasi madalas in Tagalog siya at gawa ito ng Pinoy. I am just sharing it for all its worth. So I would like to end with these thoughts. It is good to have money and the things money can buy. But it is good too to check once in a while and make sure we haven't lost the things money cannot buy. So once again, good morning as I welcome everyone with a Christmas wish of good health, peace, and joy.